deep in the untamed bayous of southern Louisiana. Whoa, whoa. The battle with nature rages. These gators don't care about your dog or your children. It's just food to him. And new partnerships come to an end. Man, I got to get back to Florida, man. The snakes are getting out of control. I think today might be my last day. No way. There's so many alligators. Shoot them. Get home. We can't catch them fast enough. No bullets. Sooner or later, something bad is going to happen. He's going to pop the lung. Welcome. Watch him. Watch him. See. To the swamp. Well, I was just a little boy. Standing to my daddy's knee. My papa said, son, no. It's a hot and muggy morning in the Atchafalaya Basin. <coughs> King of the Swamp, Troy Landry, and his partner, Terrell Evans, are answering an emotional call for help. We're going to go see my buddy, Leo. Leo has a couple of hundred acres of property that him and his kid Always going fishing and did duck hunt. And he called me the other day. He had a big alligator ate his dog. Yeah. And his little boys was all shook up. You got the medicine for that. That's him. That's Mr. Leo. Leo! What's happening? So, Leo, this is where that happened, right here? This is one of the ponds. We went here. Squirrel hunting it with me and the boys were walking in here, and the dog was just kind of playing around. He's a four year old border collie, Duke. Oh, I loved him. The last tracks I saw of him, he was right along the edge of the water, and then they had a big disturbed area, and he was gone. And we called and we called, but I knew in my heart he got took by a big alligator. Most everybody in this area grew up with a dog. And uh, when you got an alligator, you're dealing with an ambush predator that lays on the side of a bank, waiting for something to come down that bank, a dog or whatever the case, and they get eaten. That happens a lot down here. Yeah, Big Joe lives in here. That's what we always say. Big Joe got poor Duke. Leo calls this get a Big Joe, just because he's so big. He's a big dominant male in this area. And the alligator took the dog, but the kids was right there. He could have easily grabbed one of his kids. That's Duke. That's what happens when they get hungry. When there's too many alligators in a place, sooner or later, something bad's gonna happen. Look at that. Look at the claw marks up here. That's a toe mark right there. Look right there and right there. That's a giant alligator. He's going across. He's going into the river. We can come in the river right here and put some on. That's where he's at, I guarantee you. Big Joe going to look for more food in other places. Guess what? We going to hang some food for him. Hopefully, we can catch Big Joe and a lot of the others in this area. Try to make the place safe again for Leo's family, kids, you know, young 20, 10, 12 year old kid. I want you to get as many as you can get out of there. The more we get out, the happier that we're going to be. If Troy and I go after that alligator, that alligator going to be in deep trouble. All right, big buddy, we got our work cut out for us. Oh, yeah. I like it. Meanwhile, over in Bayou Sorrel. See nothing swimming around, nut. After days of torment, Willie Edwards is on a mission to stop the cannibal alligator responsible for mangling his catches and making them worthless. I've been baiting hooks for the last couple of days in this hole, and, and this gator be killing my alligators on lines where I got to throw them away. I didn't see him with my own eyes and then seen him on the bank maybe about a month ago. He was laid plumb out on his bank. His nose was touching that tree right there. 
and his tail was almost all the way back there to that leaning willow back yonder. This alligator is huge, and I mean, I ain't seen too many big ones around like that in years. So I'm gonna go back here and see if I can actually catch him, and he won't be killing no more. Go back here and see what we got right back here. Looks like we might have something on this one. I see limbs shaking. Let's see what he is. He's here. It's all wrapped up. The beast is in the shallows, where it has far more power than in deep water. I tried to get over there and undo it, but uh, it ain't look good. As a solo hunter, Willie knows he needs to untangle the line and get the brute in the water. Well, get to that size on land, he got the bigger hand. There ain't no way you're gonna outpower that thing. But when you're in a boat, you got the sides of the boat that come up, and he can't get over the side. Oh, this guy's mean. I got to be careful. Nah, I'm down. Roll low. Roll low. Ah, ah. I think he can get away. He can't go nowhere. Coming up. Oh, we gotta fight him. Oh, oh. oh. Bite my boat. Let me get that gun. Show me that head. Come on. Give me a shot, boy. Nice gator. As he pulls in the eight-footer, Willie spots telltale signs that this gator is yet another victim of the cannibal. I see teeth marks on him. I mean, he had big ones around here somewhere. The alligator is a cannibal. He eats his own kind. And uh, we done seen him plenty of times swimming up the bar with 10 footers in their mouth and they 12, 13 foot. They will kill their own kind and they will eat their own kind. He gonna do what he gonna do. You just gotta wait till he messes up. Across the bayou. We got a boat loading at the beginning of our line. Only two hours into their day, Jacob and Dusty have already caught six gators. Some good news after the unfortunate announcement Dusty made earlier this morning. Man, I gotta get back to Florida, man. The snakes are getting out of control. I think today might be my last day. Man, my team needs me. You gotta do what you gotta do, brother. I understand it. Hopefully we can catch a big one today to go out with a bang and that's right. Appreciate it, my brother. Dusty was a huge help to us this year. You know, without him, I don't think we was able to, you know, to get the amount of tags that we got with him there. And you know, I look forward to meeting him again and, and hopefully I'd like to get down there to Florida with him and try to catch a couple of them big snakes. We got Big D. Ooh, son, line's tight. Man, we on a road today. Where is it, Dustin? Oh, man, you see it? Looks like we got something. Oh, yeah. Son. Heavy? Yeah. Ooh, it looks like a good one, I did. Come on, big boy. Ooh. Oh, baby, you see that? Come on, baby. Oh. Whoa, whoa. He's gonna go where he wants to go. 
in Pierre Park. Come on up, Big Daddy. God, he's getting away. Jacob and Dusty are wrestling a fierce colossus. God, that sucker is heavy. He's on the bottom. Oh, hey, God, he was on a long show. No way. Damn. Look, it was another alligator inside of it. He ate the oh, little gator. Man. That sucker was huge. You could see that this alligator had sat there and chewed this small alligator that we had on the line and was in the process of swallowing them down when we pulled up on them. When that alligator got away, my heart just sank. And that big one come up and snacked it, huh? Gah. I can't believe how these gators will just eat each other like that. I mean, they got no mercy. He was eating on it for a reason. We're going to leave it for him. We're going to put it on the line, and hopefully he'll chew it enough and swallow it. Wait. We'll hook him this time. He knows where his meal is at, and if he's hungry enough, he'll be back there to bite that alligator again. Let's get on to the next one. Forty-two miles away in Bayou Black. Frenchy Crochet and his hunting buddy, G. Singleton, are chasing down a ruthless gator that's been stealing bait off their lines. It's very hard to catch gators. It's uh, stealing the bait and everything else. You got one clothespin holding your bait up, and then uh, it's the big alligators are going to take the uh, bait off your hook. By double knotting and hanging his lines higher than normal, Frenchy's hoping to entrap the beast before it strikes again. All right, line down. Think we have something? All right, I got it right now. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Let's get it. Oh! Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hey! Come on, hey! Give me that shot. Working on it, working on it, working on it. It's a good gator. This seven-footer is a decent catch, but its jaws are too small to be the bait thief. Two, three, go. In Pierre Park, Troy and Terrell are hunting their own menace, the fiend that snatched Troy's buddy's family dog. Leo called that gator Big Joe. He'd been knowing that gator was there, but he never had caused any problems before. But now the problems are escalating because alligators got big appetites. They can eat a lot. Oh, right there. See the line, T? There it is. Got a tight line, Troy. I hope we got Big Joe. Yeah, man. Damn. Huh? Woo, yeah. that roll, baby. Strong? Yeah, he's gone. 
Bring him up, Cramp. Bring him up, shoot. That's all. Hold a feisty one. Bring him in, Big D. Bring him in. Woo. Come on, alligator. Work with him. Yeah, bring him up, Cramp. Body draw. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Ready? One, two, three. This nine-foot brood is the third caught near Leo's home, but the biggest threat still remains. Racking them and stacking them, baby. We're racking them and stacking them. Over in Bayou Sorrel, Willie's on the hunt for a giant land-dwelling cannibal. I got my eyes on a big alligator in this hole. This alligator is huge, and I mean, I ain't seen too many big ones around like that in years. And this gator here is getting me frustrated and everything. The last couple of years in that hole, I lost a lot of money, and I'm gonna catch that alligator. I guarantee you. Got something back here, look like. Yeah, he got that rope stretched out. Oh, yeah. Go back there and see. Once again, Willie's forced to leave the protection of his boat to untangle an angry gator. Well, he got it stretched out tight. Man, that thing will be hard to get back across that hill. That thing can hold a load. We're gonna try to get him to come back across, but if he come running to me, he's gonna come. Willie knows in order to gain the upper hand, he needs to coerce this monster into the water and get back to his boat. He can take off right there at any time, and he get on that bank, he can run up to more probably 20 miles an hour just going. No, I don't think I can run 20. When you pull in that alligator, if he wants to, he can start coming forward. You trip over something while you pull him backwards, he's already on top of you. I mean, that thing can run it on top of you in a matter of seconds. Come on, boy. Let's go back out. Come on, boy. Come on. When he take a notion, he's going to come. Come on out here, boy. Yeah, do the work. That's what we call. Man, we got him out here on our left. In Bayou Sorrel. Come on out here, boy. Yeah, do the work. Willie's got his hands full with a live gator on land. Got a little spot. Just like that. Fine gator right there. Although happy to have another gator in the boat, Willie knows the cannibal is still out there. He too big and he got too much brain on his head. He knows what that hook is hanging over that water. I know he's here and it's driving me crazy. And I got to get this gator caught. He's killing my alligators on the lines. I'm losing money on him. And he ain't got me mad and got me pissed off. And something got to break right now. Twenty-seven miles south in Pierre Park. Before Dusty has to return home at day's end, he and Jacob are determined to eliminate the voracious predator that escaped their line hours ago. They took one of our gators that was on the line and ate it for breakfast. It's a monster out there. But this could be their most difficult mission yet. You know, them big, big alligators are, are hard to catch once. And when you catch them once and they get away, it makes it even harder to catch them again. 
looking. What we got? Dusty. Ooh, got a little action here. Grab that line. Whoa, whoa. We got one. Oh, big boy. Come on, big boy. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Ah! Round and round he goes, where he stops, shake his bony nose. Now we're ready. Shoot him! Yeah. There's no way this six footer is the Colossus they're after. But before checking their next line, Jacob's got a special treat for his hunting partner on his last day. Well, I got a surprise for you. I've been talking about pizza for so much the oh, last man, couple, you couple days. Kidding me. <laughs> pizza in the swamp. Got you a pizza in a pack. Oh, yeah. I never realized anybody could like pizza more than my two little boys, but I think Dusty takes the trophy on this. I decided to bring him a little pizza in the boat, and I tell you what, it was like a kid at Christmas when I broke that out of the cooler and, and gave it to him to eat while we was breaking. <laughs> Come way out here in the swamp and eat pizza. You believe it? A little cheese. When I get to town, any town, the first thing I do is I'm a pizza hunter. I'm the best pizza hunter in the world. I'm a good snake hunter, but I'm the best pizza hunter in the world. Good stuff? Mm-hmm. As long as we catch them, we're gonna provide. Over in Bayou Black. We ain't doing nothing in the bayou. With a cunning beast stealing the bait right off their lines, Frenchie and G haven't caught a single gator in the last three hours. And their frustration is growing. I'm getting mad, so I hate. This alligator taking all the bait and my hooks. Got a line down. That's something. Let him, brother. Strike. Strike again. Gonna beat it back. Marking the beach down. We're getting strikes. Time to hit a home run. I ain't too happy because, uh, you know, we don't want to lose no trophy alligator. So it's like a nightmare to me. Call tribe and tribulation. in Pierre Park. We're doing all we can do. I just don't know if what we're doing is enough. Troy and Terrell diligently search for the dog killer known as Big Joe. Just get a Big Joe. Big dominant male in this area. He's on top of the food chain. And he's got an appetite. Very, very dangerous. Big buddy. Line stretch. Line stretch, hold it down. Look a swell over there. There's something making a big swell. Bring him up. What we got? What we got? What we got? Uh oh, look what we got, bro. Uh -oh. Come on, baby. In Pierre Park. Whoa, look at that thing. A ferocious brute is about to break Terrell's line. Hold on tight. He's gonna pop the line, he's gonna pop it. Watch him, watch him, see. Watch him, give me a shot. Hold up, hold up. Give me a shot, give me a shot. Bring him up. Yep. 
buddy. Ready? One, two, three. Through the alligator. I don't think this gate is big enough to eat a dog. I think Big Joe's still out there. You know, we're catching a lot of alligators around Leo's property. We're catching more than I expected to catch. But we don't have no real big alligators that I think could be Big Joe. Now, the day's not over. We still got quite a few lines to run. We're going to go after that alligator. We're looking to get him. Go to work, big buddy. Four miles away, Jacob and Dusty are trying to bag one final giant before Dusty has to head back to Florida. All right, Big D, you ready? Oh, yeah. I'm looking. Kind of tight there, Dusty. Oh, looks like we got something, Jake. Big bubbles. Mm. Oh, yeah. Watch the deep. Ooh, feels like a monster. A big D. Come on, big boy. Ooh. Watch him, son. Get him. Watch it, watch it, watch it. He's gonna knock that gun out of your hand. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch him, B. Ooh. Get up there. That's what I'm talking about. Although a good catch, this nine-footer isn't big enough to be the mammoth that got away this morning. I thought for sure we had him, but it wasn't, so we're gonna keep looking. in Bayou Sorrel. Time for him to bite the dust. Three hours of sunlight remain, and Willie's patience is wearing thin as he hunts for the cannibal that's been eating his profits. he had been driving me crazy and everything. he had been killing all my alligators and everything. He just a torn in alligator. He get over in there and he can hide like it ain't nothing. I know for sure he's still in that area. He lives there, he stays there, that's his territory. He's right there close. There he is, way down the bank right there. That's his bubbles right there. And he knows I'm on him, and he don't like it. Finna catch a bull. That's definitely him. I had something there. About to come up. No bullet! In Bayou Sorrel. Oh. Here he come. Here he come. About to come up. No bullet! Willie's finally snagged the vicious cannibal he's been hunting all day. He's about to bite the dust. I'm gonna put something on him, gonna give him a headache. He's down. I mean, we got him down. Being a solo hunter, killing this Leviathan is only half the battle. 
This is a big alligator, and there ain't no way. I don't think I can load this thing by myself. I got an idea, but I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Yeah, I got him tied off from my back across the bow right there. Get in shape. Look how big that thing is. Come on, big boy. Somebody work with me. Now, I'm not old, old, but I'm 36 years old, and it's a lot harder now than it used to be to load alligators. I mean, it just hurts me so bad. I don't like hurting no more. I'm gonna put a little handle hook where I can get his head up a little further in the boat. That's his ass. Coming in at 12 feet, 900 pounds, this monster was worth the struggle. That's how it's done. It took me everything I had to get this alligator over in the boat. I thought I was gonna have a heat stroke with him, trying to do it and everything, but I, I done pretty good today. I'm tickled with him and surprised myself. It's just unreal how amazing it feels to just to hook this alligator. I'm glad I got him now, and he won't be eating no more of my alligators or cu uh, killing anymore. Bayou Black. Frenchie and G have yet to catch the menace that's been stealing bait off their lines. But Frenchie's not losing hope. There's my rainbow. Thank God for that. I guess that's a sign. Uh-oh, I think this line might have something. That I don't know. Damage around here, G. All right, look, something going on. Look, look at all them lilies upside down and all over the place. Bubbles down. This might be here. Oh, yeah. I like them bubbles. One look at the jaws on this behemoth, and Frenchie knows it could be their bait stealer. Measuring 12 feet, 5 inches, this wily beast won't be stealing their bait anymore. If we're doing that, we want it right here. All right. We were successful, and it was a nice sized gator. You know, a gator that big, been living out there a long time. Saw them a couple times now. Saw them a couple times. Yeah, 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 we strike again. Wow! Hold on! What are we working with? Sure. Right here? Yep, there she is. Across the bayou. This place is overrun with alligators. No wonder they called us to come over here. Troy and Terrell have stacked up a boatload. But they still haven't nabbed Leo's dog killer. You don't care if that appetite consumes your dog Duke or your children. Big Joe don't care. It's just food to him. Oh, 
I don't see nothing. You see something, Keith? I see the line. Where right? Right there. You see there. the line? I don't see it. Where is it? Line's tight, Troy. Let me get down in there and mess with it. Dude, we got a big one. You take this pole. I got it on the line where the gate is at. We right behind Leo's house here, big buddy. All right. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Come on, that's a big song. Come on. I'm trying to bite my foot. He's trying to go under the boat. Man, he's hard. Ooh, watch him. I think he's coming back, coming give back. Give me a shot, give me a shot. Bring him up. <laughs> he's trying to go under the boat. Give me that shot, come on. Get it quick, bro. be happy. I guarantee this is Big Joe. We got him now. We got him, baby. Hey, boy. They finally put an end to Big Joe, but Troy knows the victory is bittersweet. There's so many alligators. We can take every alligator off of Leo's property. Big Joe, we can catch them all. But by this time next year, they'll have just as many we can't catch them fast enough right now. Problems like this, what happened with Duke, are gonna continue to happen. It's gonna escalate. I mean, these problems are here to stick. As the day winds down in Pierre Park. We've been trying to catch that alligator, and we're not having any luck. Dusty is determined to catch the ferocious giant that escaped this morning before he heads back to Florida. You know, it's my last day, so I ain't letting it go. We're gonna find that gator. We have something, Dustin? Oh, Jake, look. We got one. Big D. Woo! Watch him, son. Fired up, huh? Watch it. Whoa! Whoa! Come on, big boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, ooh. Oh, whoa, watch it, watch it, watch it. Whoa, whoa! Ah. Oh, man, he's heavy. <laughs> Be careful. In Pierre Park, Jacob and Dusty are in a death match with their biggest gator of the season. Hey, hop that line. Be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I can't hold him much longer. He's shredding my hand. Get him, quick, get him. Oh, God. Damn. Woo. I about took my finger with him. Holy smokes. Ready? Yeah. Two, three. Yeah. Uh. Oh, man, he's heavy. We got him. Got him, baby. It was so big and strong, man. This was like stepping in the ring with freaking Mike Tyson, man. This was a battle. We haven't had a battle like this yet. I didn't know who was gonna win, if the gator was gonna get us or if we were gonna get that gator in the boat. Oh, baby. 
when his tail comes up at the end of the boat and his head's way on this end, we realize that this gear is pushing 12, maybe even 13 foot long. That's what we do it for right there, buddy. Alligator this big is very old, and he's done outsmarted a lot of hunters over the years, including us. And when you finally catch up to him, it's very, very rewarding. Whew. It was pretty awesome to end the day like we did. Now Dusty's going to be able to leave and go home with a good note. The long day of battling monsters finally comes to a close. This is chugging along, slow but sure. And it's time for some home cooking at the Landry's. You know, the Cajun culture all evolves around food. And we all like to cook. And we use that as an excuse to all get together. Look how pretty that is. Because tonight is a special occasion. It was Dusty's last day to did. I love to cook squirrels. That's what you call a pot full of squirrels, baby. <laughs> but Dusty loves pizza. It sounds like that's all he eats in Florida. It sounds like he lives off of pizzas. There's gonna be a little surprise for Dusty. Squirrel pizza. It's gonna be the best pizza Dusty ever ate in his life. Hey, Dusty, what's up? Dusty, you hungry? You like squirrels? Put it down, Dusty. I'm gonna fix you a plate the way I like to fix it, like I'd fix it for myself. Here, Dusty. This is for you. This is a homemade squirrel pizza. Really? <laughs> squirrel pizza. Squirrel pizza. I just love pizza. It's one of my favorite things in the world. But squirrel pizza, I've never, ever heard of nothing like that in my life. Good? You like it? Mm-hmm. That squirrel pizza was some of the best pizza I've ever ate in my life. Them squirrels better run around Florida because I might be looking for some of them when I get back there. I might be making my own squirrel pizzas. Dusty, thank you, buddy. Thanks for the help. And according to Jacob, he said you did real good. Big time. Dusty was a huge help to us this year. He's got a lot of crazy ideas, but some of them ideas got us into some places that, you know, I wouldn't have got in without them. Gator's a little bit stronger than them snakes. <laughs> Thanks for the help. <laughs>